subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello there, welcome to another video about RA Solutions. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you a few things. First and foremost, I'm going to show you how to add or change a style in Microsoft Word on a document you'll be working on. And the second thing what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to add or change the theme of the Word document. And there's also other things I'm also going to be showing you, um, how to change the color scheme, how to change fonts, how to change the paragraph spacing, add a watermark, page colors, and a page border. So there's quite a few things I'm going to hopefully show you in today's video. However, before I continue, um, please like my video, please subscribe to my channel, please leave a comment below giving me suggestions of more videos I could make in the future. So what I have in front of me is a Word document. This Word document has some dummy or placeholder text which you can see. Now check out one of my previous videos showing you how to add um, placeholder text in Microsoft Word. It's a really good easy way to do this in Microsoft Word. So this Word document has a few paragraphs. It's got obviously dummy data and you can see there's no heading and there's no um, title so what I'm gonna do is add a heading I'm gonna call my heading heading one and I can't spell let me spell it properly heading one and above that I'm gonna call um, I have a title I'm gonna call it title now both my title and a heading I'm gonna give it a specific style so you can see the styles here in the ribbon under the home tab you can see the styles section um, I'm going to highlight my title, I'm going to choose the title style here, I'm going to highlight my heading 1, I'm going to choose the heading 1 style there as well. So I've got a title style, heading 1 style and my fonts here in my paragraphs. So now what I'm going to do is go down to the design tab here in my ribbon and I'm going to change in the doc document formatting section, I'm going to change the style of my word document so it's currently that style I go across you can see how the style changes depending on which style I have selected from the top you can see that you can see it quite clearly how it's changing so let's choose this one here now you can see my styles changed uh, but I can also change the theme so I've changed the style I can also change the theme um, before I change the th theme if you're not happy with this specific theme and you've forgotten which theme you had to begin with um, you can go here um, and you can go back to resetting to the default style set here so you can go to the default one and then you can um, if you want to change the theme of your style you can change the theme so to do that you could go to the left side here um, go to the theme section here click on the arrow and you can choose from one of the default themes there so um, the one I particularly like uh, let me just go through most of them for you so you can see exactly what you're getting um, the one I like is probably that one but for the purpose of this video I'm going to choose this one here the badge theme so choose the badge theme but you can see now once you've changed the theme the styles change according to the theme you've selected now this is interesting now what I can do is change my style to match the style I want according to the theme I've got selected now if you're not happy with the color scheme um, of my current theme uh, what you can do is go a step further and you can change the color um, scheme of my theme it's rhyme. it rhymes I know but um, it's the best I can do so in the design tab here at the top scroll to the right past the document formatting section here on the colors and you can choose the arrow from the colors here and you can change the color scheme of your theme so you can choose different colors um, scroll down to the color scheme you like and if you're not happy with any of the color schemes which are already there um, there's more here for scroll down but you can also customize your colors by choosing specific colors depending on your organization business school college university whatever or your likes you know whichever specific color scheme you want to go for you can choose that based on the colors there you can also change the fonts and you can see how the fonts change according to what I'm selecting from my um, font selection there and you can see it change 
um, in my Word document. You can also change the paragraph spacing. So at the moment it's uncentered. We can have it to no paragraphs, com compact, tight, open, relaxed, and double there. So and obviously you can choose custom paragraph spacing, and you can change the values in there uh, depending on the actual document you're doing. If it's an academic document, what they normally prefer, I think it's double spacing or one and a half. Uh, but you need to check that with whatever document you are doing. So on the right side, page background here, you've got three options, watermark, page colors, page borders. Um, let's say you're doing a document here and it's confidential. You go to watermarks, you can choose confidential there and it will add a watermark all the way across your page saying it's confidential. If it's a draft copy, you can choose draft. If it's do not copy, you don't want anybody to copy it. You put in a watermark like that or if you, even if it's a sample for a customer you can choose a sample watermark but if you want to customize that you go to custom watermark here at the bottom and you can choose and um, write in or type in specific text there um, if you don't want a watermark go back to remove watermark there you can also change the page color uh, let's say making it more eye-catching but you know that depends on you and what you want uh, let's go for the grayish look there and then you can also add a page border you click on page borders it'll bring up this pop-up here at the moment the current settings are none you can choose a box shadow 3d or custom let's go for box for the purpose of this video and you can choose the style of my border there and you can also choose the color of your border let's choose that one purple there um, you can change the width of your border let's have that one you can apply it to the whole document or specific page or section uh, there and you can even change the art of your border let's not get too fancy click on ok and you can see the border it's added a border and obviously whatever you've specified in the pop-up that's displayed in front of you so i hope this video has helped you what i've shown you today is how to change or add a style to your document how to change the theme how to change your color scheme fonts paragraph spacing, watermarks, page colors, and page borders. I seriously hope this video has helped you. Please like, subscribe, and share.